Hey guys, this is a movie review on Oh Brother Where Art Thou that came out in 2000. So before I get on that, I'm going to tell you a little bit why I haven't been able to get videos on as much as I want to. So one, I'm leaving for Louisville this weekend and I've been trying to get ready for that. Two, with both jobs, I've been trying to get time for movie reviews, but I just haven't had much time lately. But in May, it'll start being a better schedule. And when I come back, I'm going to start doing one video a week at least. And then starting in May, I'm going to do two videos a week. Or try to at least. But never mind on that. Now, back to the review. So, No Brother Where Art Thou, it was a really good movie. It has these three protagonists. It has George Clooney as Everett. John Turturro as P, and Tim Nelson as Delmick. So, it starts out with them three together, they're inmates. Well, they have shackles together. They're all three connected. Well, they start running away, and the reason they start running is because Everett, he, he tells them that there's money that's buried, and, you know, there's all this money that they can get, and it'll be worth it. So it goes through this whole story on them trying to get to where the money was, but they tried to get on the train and it didn't work, so they had to go a different way. They end up getting in trouble with Big Dan, I think his name was, and then the Sirens, uh, they met these girls that they call Sirens because it's based on the novel The Odyssey. Well, they wake up with their friend gun it, sh it shows just his clothes. Well, they at first think that, oh, it's, it's a beating heart. That's all they left. And then a frog came out. Or a toad, I should say. And then, later on in the movie, they're like, oh, that bites the, the toad, you know, is not the guy, but uh, Big Dan squishes him, which is totally messed up. But then, Later on you realize that he wasn't the toad after all. And then the three meet back together. Well, through their journey, they want to sing for money just to get a couple bucks, nothing too big. Well, they hit it off big without even knowing. So, some of the record, the record company is trying to find them while they're doing their own little thing. And later on through the movie, they start singing at this place to get to get Everett's wife's attention. So they're singing he's trying to tell her that he wants to be back with her, she should marry him. Well she's saying no and all this, so he goes back to singing and everyone loves their singing. And the end is pretty good. It it it's pretty predictable though. Halfway through the movie you kinda know how it's gonna end. Not not everything about it, but you know what's really going to go on. You know how the three of them are going to end up. But overall, it was a really good movie. I really liked it. The soundtrack was amazing. The acting was amazing. The story was amazing. The dialogue was phenomenal. Everett was super witty, which I really liked. I, I, I would... I would watch this movie again. I, I'm really glad I got it. It was a blind buy, but I was like, well, I've never seen the movie before, and everyone talks about it, or used to talk about it. So, ended up buying it with an, uh, another couple movies that I've never seen before, which later on I'll do the movie reviews for. But overall, this was a great movie. I'd watch it again. You should watch it. I would give it a B. And if you ever seen the movie, comment below, let me know if you whether you liked it or not. And as always, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.